little bit. It's getting warm now. Okay, guys. Here we got the advancing team from the regional first round here at Carthage. On your far right, we got head coach Paul Leon. Um, yeah, number six, Kyle Donahoe. And number eight, Raymond Cassio. Uh, coach Leon, give your opening statement about the game. Uh, well, fantastic match by both teams. Um, both teams definitely came to play and, and contend. Um, you know, our guys have been putting a lot of time and effort outside of the practice court to prepare for this match. And uh, we definitely feel that it was our time to, to cash in and, and take it for ourselves. So um, very proud of how our, my boys uh, presented themselves and played and, and uh, handled the adversity. Uh, we definitely address that coming into this weekend of the regional tournament that every team we face is going to provide that adversity. It's just how we adapt in those moments. And our guys did great with the in-game adjustments that coaches gave them, as well as making their own micro adjustments to edge out um, a very um, physical Carthage team. So um, our defense won us this game. Our serving backed it. And our offense you know, coming through with uh, some really good scraps uh, on the defensive transition. So, uh, very excited with how we played and, and looking forward on how we're going to play in the next match as well. Raymond, your chemistry with setter Sam Wittert was clicking on all cylinders all night, especially those first two sets. I mean, ranking third all-time in NCAA tournament history with 27 kills. Um, explain that chemistry and I mean, how you guys just couldn't be stopped throughout the match. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, Sam and I are really good friends off the court as well as on the court. I've been playing with him for two years now and he's been he I mean he just puts in the right place for me to go and to go and succeed um, I was feeling out there I felt good my body felt good and, and Sam was just able to put in the right place so I can go and swing um, being third on the all-time in a game kill thing is is very cool I'm very uh, I'm very gracious I'm very thankful that I get to play on the team that I do where I get a lot of opportunities to swing um, and tonight it was working so we're hoping to continue on into tomorrow with that kind of with that same kind of chemistry. Raymond, obviously the, the team stayed pretty calm going into a fifth set. It looked like you know on the road, mm -hmm. um, you know they had their crowd going. Um, you kind of came out and took control real quickly in the in the fifth set. Kind of what was the key to that? Was anything said between the fourth and fifth sets, or did you guys stay pretty even keel? Um, after the fourth set, they were they were on a run. They were they had some momentum because they had won the past two. Um, so. We went back there and, and I, I try like everybody was talking um, and then we just talked about how this is this is the moment that we've been working towards. We've there's been games in the past where we've been up 2-0 and lost in the fifth set 3-2. Um, we've learned so much this season uh, through all of our experiences. And so I went back there and we talked about how this is going to be a character building moment. This is going to be the moment where um, where it lays the the foundation for um, our future rounds, uh, just building that character and building that, knowing that we can go out there and play with the very best. Mm -hmm. Kyle, can you talk a bit about how the senior class has gelled together these past four years and just not just making a tournament, but how you've advanced, how's that feel? Well, the senior class we have right now has lived together in the same, I've lived with Ray and Justin Fortner now in the same house for all four years of college. So we are we are much closer than teammates. Um, and we've had to adapt a lot this year as a group of upperclassmen because we're outnumbered in terms of freshmen to non-freshmen. We have eight freshmen on the team this year, and for most of the season we had seven sophomores and seniors. So the chemistry that we have as um, a senior class has really helped us deal with a lot of um, adversity throughout the season with our younger guys who have grown a ton throughout the year um, thanks to the help of our senior class and our sophomores. Coach, looking ahead to tomorrow, um, how closely are you going to watch this next game between MSOE and Cloudbond? Um, you've already done some scouting on them. What have you taken out of it so far and what are your expectations? Yeah, well, my expectations wouldn't uh, don't change for either of the teams that we could possibly play um, tomorrow evening. Um, it's very much still centered around what we're doing on our side. Uh, though both MSOE and Fontbonne uh, are very offensive, 
Um, as I mentioned before, we're, we're relying on our defense to win games right now. So hopefully our defense will neutralize a Fonfon or an MSOE attack. And again, we back it with a serve. So no changes on our end necessarily. Um, we might uh, do our defense a little bit differently against those teams, but we'll grab some dinner, come back, watch the match tonight, kind of reaffirm our notes, and uh, yeah, just get some sleep. We're looking forward to it. Raymond, how come no mustache? Uh, I, I struggle to grow facial hair. It's just genetic. My dad doesn't do it very well either. Um, so I decided that instead of a really nasty, patchy mustache, that I would just uh, I'd go clean and let the people that actually have facial hair uh, do the work. for a, one last thought for both seniors. You guys came all the way from the East Coast to come play at the University of California, Santa Cruz. Just talk about that journey that, like, yeah, I'm going to go to California and how you think, <laughs> how you feel after four years of being in California. Well, I'm definitely not going back to the East Coast, <laughs> if that helps answer your question. Um, I looked at three schools on the West Coast when I came out here my junior year. I looked at Santa Cruz, Santa Barbara, and UC San Diego. And I went to Santa Cruz first. Didn't even get out of the car at Santa Barbara because I was like, this is not as good as Santa Cruz. I don't like this. San Diego, I walked around and was like, no. I love, I love Santa Cruz. I'm super happy that I chose to be here, both for volleyball and for academics. Yeah, uh, I say that it's the best decision that I ever made um, to come all the way out to Santa Cruz. Uh, the mixture of really good academics with the, like, with the really, really elite volleyball team um, pulled me there, and, and when I got there, there's no leaving because it's just it's the most beautiful place in the world to me. Um, but yeah, it's been the best decision of my life all four years that we've done this. I've been so happy here and so happy playing for this team, wearing the slug on my chest. Weather helps, right? Yeah, yeah. We live a block off the beach too, so yeah. that definitely helps. That's the real. Thing. Yeah, that definitely helps. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the interview. Thank you.